world. Alexei Navalny, you've heard of him? Yeah. Okay. He dared to stand up to the most dangerous dictator on the planet, Vladimir Putin. The man died in a Russian prison today. Oh. Yes. Yeah. And you know it wasn't self-inflicted because he's, he's so brave, the guy. This latest atrocity should put every American on notice that anyone who fawns over a maniac like Putin is basically betraying our country. I'm looking at you, Donald Trump, yeah. Ron Johnson, Tucker Carlson, to name just a few of you. There is this traitorous behavior going on in this country when they're bowing down to this man, Absolutely. this Putin, yeah. saying that they're not going to continue to help Ukraine, which breaks my heart yeah. because I know history and Putin will not stop at Ukraine no. if they don't, if Putin we don't help them. Putin's getting, getting paranoid, and, though. And, and, and Trump is saying that he's going to pull out of NATO. These are allies. They, we were all in this together in World War II, and now he's going to pull out but of this? I wanna, Outrageous. I want to talk about um, Alexei Navalny, who, so he was <coughs> premier dissident in Russia. He exposed the corruption of Vladimir Putin and yeah. his inner circle, and for that, Putin persecuted him, used nerve agent gas against him, yeah, almost and had him. him in jail. So this death, he's 40, he was 47 years old. Vladimir Putin has got the blood of Alexei Navalny on his hands. That's right. Yeah. This was not a uh, accidental death. And, you know, in 2023, there's a documentary that CNN yeah. made called Navalny that won the Oscars. <coughs> His wife, his daughter, his son yeah. uh, were part of it. Navalny was part of it. And in his own words, he's asked in the, in the film what his message to the Russian people would be if he were killed. And Navalny said, you are not allowed to give up. If they decide to kill me, it means that we are incredibly strong. Yeah. We need to utilize this power. Yeah. So I hope that the entire world condemns his death and that we keep his name, his memory, and his flame alive. Well, Putin's losing popularity in Russia because of this war, and yeah. he has an election coming up in March. So the, the election, timing, that's a joke. Well, yeah, but yeah. He, the, he's becoming paranoid, so yeah. the timing of this is actually makes sense. I, I agree with everything you're saying, Anna, because you always hope you'd be that brave one. He continued to leave his own life, his own wife, his own kids, knowing well, it was he, a suicide mission he to went go back, back to Russia. And did it anyway yeah. for the greater good, for knowing it's what he was doing. Remember, how, unbelievable how brave this Remember he went back to Russia, and I just want to say this one yeah. thing. Vice President Harris was was very strong on this today. Everybody likes to talk about Vice President Harris not being a strong woman, not being someone who could lead this country. She can, by the way. She said, if confirmed, this would be a further sign of Putin's brutality. Right. Whatever story they tell, let us be clear. Russia is responsible. Right. And that is the truth. Looking at Alex Nevanis, who was killed in the prison, they talked about him that he was the one that tried to stand up um, against Putin, corruption. He even acted the movie. On that movie, he brought out the corruption in the country. And he was being asked that what is the greatest thing he want to tell the people. He went ahead and said that one of his greatest ambitions is that if he's killed, the people should be encouraged. They should know that they are brave and they are going ahead and... There's nothing which can stop them, so they sacrifice themselves for the world and for the land itself. So there is nothing, anyone can say anything. They want people to be liberated from such a corrupt economy, such a corrupt government that they are ruled by Putin. They went and said that election is coming, so Putin get agitated about this. And Alex was, was killed that he showed that she was, he was being inflicted by someone in jail. So they talk about um, Vice President Harris, which people complain that she don't have a strong voice. There's nothing she can do. She just quiet. She came and said that if only this is the only thing that, um, if this, um, this exactly is what Putin is doing, um, it's going to make the war. Russia is completely um, responsible for Alex's death. And they are not going to be quiet. They are going to see what they can do about that. They went ahead and talked about um, Alexi um, being that one that allowed the wife and family. He shows that it was a suicide mission. And he's a hero because he wanted to die for the people. Not everybody is going to do that. Many people are going to run away. Um, they are going to back up. But this was a mission that he has a family. So he has wife and children. 
he's still going and he knows he can be killed at any time because it's very risky. They when I hear the women in the view talk about um Putin is very dangerous. People like Donald Trump, um Dr. Carlson that they want to be his friend and they want to connive, support his policy, what he's doing. Those people have to be look around and put in caution. That Putin is that one that um anyway they say Donald Trump and Putin have the same casterities because everything um if something does not go their way according to the woman in the view they want that you should come down power at all means and they want that sort of scenario they don't want you to see your mind or see whatever you're saying they try to compare alexis death um although nelson mandela did not die his bravery to the bravery of nelson mandela Nelson Mandela knew he could be key at any time, but yet he stood for the right, he stood for the people. He wanted the liberation of the people. He wasn't afraid that he was going to die. They also compare it with Martin Luther's death, that Martin Luther was not afraid to die. No matter the situation, whatever happened, he was still there standing for his family. Although he has wife and children, he knows anything can happen at any time. Basically, you watching there, what do you really think? Um, in your own um uh, your own opinion, do you believe that um Alexis he, um was killed by Putin or it's just coincidental that he died or someone else might have a conflict with him and kill him? What exactly do you think? Can I see your opinion on the comment section? Let me see your own point of view. Do you also recognize that Alexi uh, can be compared to Martin Luther King Jr., can be compared to Nelson Mandela in South Africa, they are bravery. Let me see your comment on the suggestion. Let me see your suggestion on the comment box um, session. Thank you very much for watching. If you have not subscribed, please help subscribe and share this video. Um, to the, to, uh, this month is African month. Thank you. Happy African month. This month is Africa Month, and Black History Month. This month is Black History Month, and we are celebrating Black History. That's why you see me in my attire, my beautiful African attire. Thank you very much for people asking me on the comment section. Where am I from? I'm from Cameroon. That's in West Africa, closer to Nigeria. Because when I tell in Cameroon, it's a what what. So Cameroon is closer to Nigeria. We're neighboring country to Nigeria. So. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you. Please remember to share, like, help and subscribe. This will help us to keep creating content. God bless.